hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far we have uh, discussed about uh, the recording electrodes and uh, the various characteristic features of biomedical measurement of signals involving electrodes and the previous video we discussed about the various electrodes that are used for ECG and we have discussed around uh, four electrodes that are used for ECG so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the electroencephalogram okay the recording electrodes that are used for electroencephalogram so I have already posted a video related to the basic concepts about the EEG signal you can check out that video still brushing up a few basic introductory concepts so about EEG so it is a recording of the electrical activity associated with human brain okay the neurons which are the basic structural and functional units in the brain they generate rhythmic electric potential okay when they are excited or stimulated and uh, to produce action potential okay this is the action potential which is generated by the individual neuron cells in the brain and that potential is called as electroencephalogram and uh, the various amplitude the range of amplitude of the electroencephalogram signal is from 2 to 200 microvolt and the frequency it varies from 0.5 to 50 hertz now this EEG signal is divided into five bands and each of these five bands has its own characteristic features which is of clinical and medical significance so it is divided into five bands delta theta alpha beta and gamma with range as it is specified here so this is the basic concept about eeg now this is the basic biomedical measurement system where the measurement here the brain potential okay generated by the neuron is measured with the help of suitable electrode transducer which converts it into a suitable voltage or current signal then it is fed to the signal conditioner or processor for various uh, purposes such as amplification frequency response matching filtering of noise signals uh, linearization uh, and various other things and then to the output unit which uh, is used for display storage and alarm generation now coming to the electrodes that are used for electroencephalogram there are three most commonly used electrodes that are used in EEG okay and those three commonly used electrodes are of disc type okay and there is another electrode which is not of disc type but still it is very close to that which is the dry electrode and these two electrodes are of disc type so those are metal disc electrodes, chlorided silver discs and the dry electrode and we'll discuss these three electrodes okay in this video. Now these are the commonly used electrodes for EEG. First the metal disc electrodes. Now the metal disc electrodes are uh, special type of uh, metallic electrodes which are placed on the scalp okay now you cannot just place these electrodes at random places okay there are specific locations where they should be connected so that the measurements the recording of the electrical activity will be accurate and precise for example there are various notations that are uh, used in uh, the medical terms which are the frontal lobe the temporal lobe okay and there are various uh, reasons why they are placed at these points because it has been found that at these locations the EEG signal is more prominent that's why and each of these signal has a location has a specific you know notation at, uh, associated with it and then there is various vector analysis which is done which we'll discuss in a separate video there is no need to create confusion about that Okay, so these uh, metal disc electrodes that are used, they are placed at specific locations. 
oh and uh, they are generally made of of uh, normally they are made of of silver or stainless steel platinum these are the commonly used metal electrodes now these uh, metal disc electrodes are placed using electrode jelly or paste okay a solution and uh, another important thing is that the scalp okay the skin uh, the, it never touches the electrode directly so there is uh, the, the motion artifact problem here is not that of a you know it does not influence it to that extent as it happens in ecg or emg electromyogram so the electrode skin interface uh, which uh, comes into play here because of the metal electrolyte and electrolyte skin it depends on several factors such as the scalp type okay the nature of the skin whether it is a dry or moisture levels in that the electrolyte which is used the electrode paste or jelly which is used the composition of that the temperature there are various factors which come into play which uh, affects the electrode skin interface where the electric double layer or the charge gradient the skin contact impedance and various other things also uh, affect the measurement uh, the measurement and recording now the contact impedance of uh, these metal disc electrodes are generally of several kilo ohms okay now these metal disc electrodes they look something like these okay so this is the metallic disc okay which is placed on the scalp with the help of suitable electrode paste or jelly so that this uh, disc it does not touch the scalp directly in order to avoid the effects of motion artifacts then it has lead wires connected to it which uh, carries the uh, potential okay and feeds it to the signal conditioning and processing circuitry for various uh, Uh, things such as amplification uh, noise removal uh, linearization and other things now the next type of electrode which is uh, used is the chlorided silver discs so as the name suggests uh, these uh, are silver discs okay with a little bit of chloride in it which converts it into a silver silver chloride uh, composition and they have diameters of about 6 to 8 mm okay and again here the contact with the scalp is made through a electrolytic paste but here the extra characteristic which separates it from the metal disc electrode is the soft washer okay so this uh, washer what it does is that it uh, it it absorbs okay it uh, neutralizes the effect if if it if so any arises which because of the motion artifacts okay the movement of the head also sweat uh, because of perspiration and if any high pressure application is required it absorbs those effects and uh, it ensures that it causes uh, those things they cause minimum problem for the recording purpose of the eeg signal and uh, the contact impedance of uh, this chlorided silver disc is generally in the range of 3 to 20 kilo ohm so this kilo ohm factor is very important 3 to 20 that does not uh, play much role you should remember that the impedance is in the range of the order of kilo ohms now this chlorided silver disc is very much similar to the floating electrode which is used in ecg there also a very soft washer is used as an interface as a separation between the electrode and the skin uh, it has also a similar purpose so it is very much similar to that floating electrode so this is how a clo- uh, chlorided silver disc looks like it has the disc electrode okay silver disc electrode and then this is the washer which has a particular um, thickness value and then it is placed on the scalp okay so that the scalp never touches the electrode directly which neutralizes the effect of motion artifacts sweat perspiration high pressure of force and then we have again the lead wire to conduct the electric potential and feed it to the signal conditioning and processing circuitry and then to the output unit next is the dry electrode now this dry electrode is not exactly uh, a disc electrode but 
it is formed by combining or assembling several discs of same shape and size uh, assembling them together to form a single dry electrode so it it basically consists of uh, thick silicon rubber discs and we require both conducting and insulating silicon rubber discs okay it looks something like this okay this so it consists of insulating silicon rubber disc and conducting rubber also so this outer region it is of conducting nature and this inner region it is of insulating type then it has a metal guard or shield okay which uh, prevents it from any leakage of signals and then we have this uh, okay signal carrier which is in the form of a straight shape metal which is connected to the coaxial cable for carrying the signal okay so it is placed on the scalp okay so it is diff a little bit different from the disc electrode which is commonly used for uh, EEG and it's of a different nature okay so here the contact impedance is of the order of mega ohms so the important feature of the dry electrode is both nature of uh, silicon rubbers conductive in the outer region and the inner region the insulating rubber a metal shield and an electrode connected to the coaxial cable for carrying the signal and uh, this also has a uh, various advantages such as uh, lesser influence of motion artifacts then uh, skin contact impedance is of the order of mega ohm and uh, another uh, characteristic is uh, about the uh, it is comfortable to wear okay it's comfortable to apply so that there is very less irritation okay on part of the patient so these are the three types of electrodes that are used for EEG the metal disc electrodes the chlorided silver disc with soft, uh, soft washer and the dry electrode. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.